So you're studying for the SAT Math Level 2 Subject Test. You've come to the right place. I'm Dan from WeWillTeachYouMath.com. Guys, when you're using these videos to study, make sure you pause the video at the beginning when the problem first comes on the screen and try it on your own. Most of your practice should be done this way, actively and independently. Then, if after you try the problem on your own, you still find it tricky, that's when you watch the video explanation. In fact, you can use any resources that you have available to you to try to figure it out so that the next time a similar problem comes your way, you'll be ready. Enjoy, and thanks for watching. 17, if x minus 3y over x equals 7, what's the value of x over y? There are actually a couple ways to go about this. You can start by multiplying by x on both sides, which will um, give you x terms on both sides. Then you can combine like terms. I actually prefer to um, break up the left side. This is a fraction, right? In general, if you have a plus b over c, you can break that up into a over c plus b over c. So we can do something similar over here. We can break this up into x over x minus 3y over x equals 7. And x over x is just 1. So 1 minus 3y over x equals 7. Then we can subtract 1 on both sides. So minus 3y over x equals 6. And now we can divide by negative 3 on both sides. So we get y over x equals 6 over negative 3, which is negative 2. So now, if we have y over x equals negative 2, we can take the reciprocal of both sides and get y, x over y equals, this is really over 1, right? So that becomes negative 1 half. So c is the best choice. If you do it the other way by multiplying by x and then combining like terms, that'll work out as well. Hi, thanks for watching. If anything's still confusing or you need a little extra help, drop me an email, leave a comment, or give me a call. I answer every message. And if you want to check out more videos like this, visit wewillteachyoumath.com. See you in the next video.